Oh my god. It's working! It's working! Don't come in, but it's working! Hey, my name is Sheil, and I just made my first darkroom print. My friends often tell me, what do, you, what do you do with all these film pictures you take? You have, you have a phone, right? What are, you, what are you doing with all these, huh? Digital exists. You have a you digital have a phone. camera. Everything exists. It's 2022. I'm like, nah. Let's calm down. <laughs> you, you caught that new NFT? I'm like, nah. I caught that 1960s darkroom equipment of a guy named Martin. Lives outside the city? Heard of him? <laughs> So after amassing many cameras from the 50s and 60s and 70s, I have now decided to take a deep dive and teach myself how to darkroom print. Welcome uh, to where I poop. <laughs> so this is the set. Enlarger here. Timer here. My notes where everything goes wrong here. Take it over to the station where I dev stop. Fix water. Chemical wise, I used Ilford Multi Grade Developer, Kodak Indicator Stop Valve, and Ilford Rapid Fit. Ilford Rapid Fixer. This red light, not good. But I saw someone online using just like an RGB light. So let's see if that works. I think it's game time. And for paper, I use Ilford's Multi Grade Resin Coated 8x10. I don't know what I'm doing. Over the last couple months, I've watched hundreds of YouTube videos. I've been reading up every article I can find. Even found a few books that has some printing guides in it. And there are so many amazing photographers on YouTube, I'll link some of them below, that I learned everything from. For this first session, my goal was just to have one decent print. <laughs> I just wanted one picture. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> oh my God. It's working! Okay, this looks very dark. So I think 15 seconds is way too long. And into the stop for 15. And I think I can turn on the lights now. Papers away, papers away. Yes. Test one, test two at F11. This was at F8. Three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Magic. So this picture was taken with my Yashica A on Ilford XP2. That looks crispy. <laughs> I did four test strips, as you can see here. Each kind of just varying the amount, the time for the exposure. Then I fiddled around with a filter. That's for next time. Oh, snap. Oh, this could be it. That looks really good. Oh, and then decided to go with, I believe a seven second exposure. And then I went for the big doinker. And after all that, 45 minutes of fiddling, making sure I was doing everything right. A photo. I made a picture and I'm so happy. <laughs> it's not perfect. I mean, there's so much to learn. I'm gonna need to learn how to dodge and burn. It's all kind of just the same tone. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if it's easy to see on camera as well, but there are ways that I can just bring the subject out a bit more, add some more contrast, it do, it, it kind of do be looking good though. <laughs> so next steps, learning how to dodge and burn and learning how to use contrast filters. Uh, after this, I did a couple more prints. Actually, I tried to, <laughs> so I tried to redo that one because I was going to make one for my parents at home and then I goofed. A classic goof. Tried to print some more just to, just to practice with the, uh, doing some test strips and getting a right exposure. One of the first pictures I took with this camera. And then here's one of a chair. This one I think could be much better with a lot more contrast, but. I don't think I mentioned this enough, but the amount of detail that is in the pictures, it's crazy when you see it in person. 
It's nuts. I now understand why people use film. This is why. This is why. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my wall and I'm excited and my wall is now gonna be filled with black and white pictures and for this year I'm probably only gonna take black and white photos because then if any of them turn out good I can just print them on both 35 and medium format. If you have questions, if you want to roast me about my process, <laughs> leave them down below. I'm ready to learn. Other than that, thank you for watching. More videos to come about learning how to darkroom print. Hopefully go out, take some cool pictures, come back, print them. Could be fun. See you on the next one. Also, I got new glasses and um, thoughts. <laughs>